five types of content that you should be thinking about to help you promote your product or service online. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com and in this video, I'm sharing five types of content that should be at the top of your mind when marketing your product or service online. These five types of content are absolutely essential and if there's one or more of these types of content that you don't currently have in place or that you're not currently working on on your website or in your business, then take the advice and start working on it. As the age old saying goes, content is king. So hopefully this video will help you to step up your content marketing game. The first type of content I'm going to be speaking about is blog content. Now having a blog is so useful for a number of reasons and the first reason is SEO or search engine optimization. Search engine optimization is the art of optimizing your website in such a way that search engines such as Google are more likely to rank your website for keywords and phrases that are relevant for your particular business. Google love websites that are constantly being updated. It shows that you care about your website and that the information on your site is more likely to be relevant and up to date. Not only that, but every time you publish a new blog article, it's a new opportunity for you to show up in Google for a new keyword. So essentially, as long as you're not being lazy with your articles and you're doing the right types of things in terms of optimizing them and writing about topics that really matter to your customer base every time you click the publish button on a new article it's a new opportunity for you to gain more search engine traffic and in addition to this every single time you publish an article and post it on one of your social media platforms it's a new opportunity for you to be retweeted or for your content to be shared and you never know what type of content is going to get shared and go viral or going to be retweeted by the right kind of person that's really going to help pick up steam for your business Business. Blog content is also useful because you want your website to be a hub where your potential customers can find really useful information. How many times have you met someone who runs some sort of business or has a product or a service and they want you to go to their website but you don't really wanna to go to their website. It's, it's kind of like you're doing them a favor to go to their site. You don't want your website to be like that. You want your website to be useful. You want your target customers to want to go to your website because there's something there that's going to give them value. So if you write about topics on your blog that really matter to your target customers, then you're gonna attract them to your website instead of forcing them there. They're gonna to want to be there. They're gonna to want to read your content. They're gonna to wanna to engage in your content. They're gonna to wanna to send you emails and leave you comments about what you've written. So think about what topics are interesting, what topics are going to capture your target audience and really draw them towards your website. And a blog is a great way to help you do that. The second type of content that you need to create is your lead magnet. Now your lead magnet is what's going to attract people, not just to your website, but to your mailing list. What free ebook can you give away? Can you give away a free video course or maybe a free guide? What does your target customer really want? What are they looking for? And what can you give them for free? free to help them achieve their goals. And in return for this, you're gonna ask them for their name and their email address so you can touch base with them, send them more useful content, and also refer them to your products or your services that's hopefully going to help them further their endeavors even more. And this leads me on to number three, which is email content. Once you have people in your database, what types of emails are you gonna send them? What are you gonna put in your subject? What is going to be in the content of your email? And also keep them clicking the links, replying to some of your emails, emails and really being an active part of your community. The fourth type of content I'm going to be speaking about is informational content. This is the type of content that's going to almost validate your product or your service and your company as a whole. What experience does your company have? Why did you start your company? What's the background behind why you do what you do? This type of information is normally found on the about page of your website and it's really important because the about page is the second most visited page on any website after the homepage. This is also where you can show off your USP or unique selling point. What makes your company different from the rest of the competitors out there on the market? Why should people buy from you as opposed to some of your competitors? And the fifth and final type of content that I'm speaking about in this particular video is social media content. What type of content can you put on your Instagram, on your Facebook, on your YouTube channel that's really going to engage your target audience, give them a reason to follow you or to subscribe 
subscribe to you and ultimately click through and visit your website. Social media marketing is top of the funnel marketing and what that means is that's normally where people first find out about you. So you want to give people a reason to follow you. Why are they following you on Instagram? Is it doing you a favor that they're following you or is it actually helping them that they're following you? You always wanna keep this in mind. What value do people have or your target customer have in following you and make sure that every time you either post a new article on LinkedIn or publish a new video on YouTube or put out a new post on Instagram, how is that attracting your target audience and enticing them to follow you and to comment and to stay engaged in what you're doing on social media. So hopefully after watching this video, you now have some ideas on things you can add to your content marketing strategy or things you can do to improve your current content marketing strategy. If this video was helpful to you, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend if you have any additional questions or comments then leave them for me in the comment section but until next time watch some of my other great videos make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content have a great day and i will see you soon